How to measure your climate impact. Every activity in the world emits emissions. En 2017, nous nous sommes posé la question de savoir si l'activité de reconstruction, l'activité de remède était vertueuse ou pas pour l'environnement. Et pour répondre à cette question, on s'est dit ce qui pourrait être bien, c'est d'utiliser un outil qui existe déjà et cet outil c'est le bilan carbone. Et donc on a fait appel au cabinet Carbon 4. A carbon footprint includes all of the greenhouse gases required to support an activity. The unit used is tons of CO2 equivalent. And a carbon footprint is over one year. Let's take an example. Say you build cars. You have direct emissions because on site you may need to burn fuel to make your car parts. This is scope one. You may also need electricity for your machines. Somewhere the power plant is emitting emissions to make this electricity. This is scope two. You also have upstream emissions related to the fact that your car door is made of aluminium. Aluminium is a very energy intensive material. It is therefore very carbon intensive. These emissions are your scope three upstream. You also finally have downstream emissions as one day the car that you have made will be on the road and burn diesel. These are your downstream scope three emissions. In order to calculate these emissions, we use emission factors. One liter of diesel emits three kilograms of CO2 equivalent. If for your activity, you consume 10,000 liters of diesel, your diesel carbon footprint is 30 tons of CO2 equivalent. Your carbon footprint is the sum of all of these direct and indirect emissions across scopes one, two, and three. These carbon accounting principles are based on international standards. Therefore, they're valid in any one of your countries. Our laws, our investors, our clients and our peers are making sure that we transition to a low carbon economy. So if your business emits a lot of CO2 emissions, it might just not make it in tomorrow's marketplace. It was very important to identify where our emissions were coming from. This led us to take actions on two levels. Um, a first level on our direct emissions, scope one emissions, and we decided we would set target to reduce those emissions per kilowatt hour generated to 2020 and to 2050, to 2050 by 85%. Do you have a business model that takes into account tomorrow's world? Do you know the impact that you are having on the climate? When considering the impact of climate on our business, uh, we were uh, aware very early on that the regulations were going to increase seriously if we were to reach the objectives of the Paris Agreement. And therefore, knowing exactly where our emissions were, was giving us the possibility to anticipate and reduce those risks. Specific activities can stop emissions right in their tracks. This is what we call avoided emissions. If you sell a product that emits less emissions than a standard product for the same service, you can avoid emissions. Let's take the example of a recycling company. If a company produces plastic bottles out of recycled plastic, it is avoiding all of the emissions that you usually need to make raw virgin plastic. The more the company recycles, the more it avoids emissions, and the more the company itself grows and contributes to the fight against climate change. Investors also look at this indicator as it highlights the businesses that can grow under carbon constraints. Il y a trois raisons pour lesquelles nous mesurons nos émissions évitées. La première, c'est pouvoir mesurer notre impact positif sur la planète et notre participation à l'accord de Paris. La seconde, je dirais, c'est pouvoir communiquer auprès de nos consommateurs des informations claires, précises et mesurables. Et la troisième, c'est de pouvoir bénéficier des crédits carbone afin d'investir sur le territoire national. In order to calculate avoided emissions, there are several steps. First, you needed to find your baseline scenario and compare it to your company scenario. As a second step, you need to define your functional unit. The third step 
is to define the full life cycle of the two ways of making plastic. As a last step, carefully subtract the carbon footprint of the recycled plastic from the carbon footprint of the virgin plastic. There you have it, your avoided emissions. As an example, a French recycling company called Paprec avoided 4 million tons of CO2 in just one year. Aujourd'hui, nous sommes capables de dire que lorsqu'un consommateur achète un smartphone Rimed, il épargne à la planète 90% des émissions de CO2 par rapport à un produit neuf. This indicator is however very sensitive to the methodology used. A few warning points. 1. Consider the full life cycle. 2. Be careful when choosing your baseline scenario. 3. You can definitely not subtract avoided emissions from your carbon footprint. Avoided emissions are compared with the hypothetical baseline scenario. You can measure the impact you have on the climate using a carbon footprint and avoided emissions. Even better, you can measure and quantify how you are contributing to a low carbon economy. Be climate ready today. Be a business leader tomorrow.